If you've clicked on this video looking for an amazing Mary Berry recipe, you've come to the right place. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from Aesthetics of Baking. I hope everyone's doing great. Now firstly, if you're looking for a great Mary Berry recipe, spoiler alert, they're all good, but she is the queen of baking and today we are making her scone recipe, or in this case, I've done a slight twist and they're mini scones. So these are really perfect for this time of year. I swear in afternoon tea, you basically just eat the sandwiches to get to the scones. So we're gonna skip all the sandwiches and we're going straight for the good stuff. So let's just get straight into it because you're definitely gonna wanna try these. So you're gonna need 400 grams of self-raising flour. You're gonna need two level teaspoons of baking powder. You're gonna need 50 grams of caster sugar. You're gonna need 100 grams of soft butter. Now ensuring it's soft, there's a Mary Berry tip for you that I learned. So I had a Google of how to soften my butter quickly because obviously I forgot. And apparently if you warm up the bowl, so you put some warm water in, rinse it out, warm water, rinse it out until it gets quite warm, put it on top of the butter, it kind of slowly melts it. So it's me passing on Mary's wisdom via Google. You're also gonna need two eggs and you're gonna need some milk. And I can't give you a measurement for now, but you'll see why in a minute. Just quickly before we get into it, a few disclaimers. I realize this will be controversial. So let's just get the issues out of the way first. I say scone, not scone. I put the cream on first. Is the cream and the jam. Now, I'm, I'm fine with people saying scone. I get it. I think it's probably right as well. But whoever puts the jam on first, you're a wrong one. And then finally, I like raisins and scones, but I haven't put them in in this one because I was making these for a friend and I wasn't sure if she liked them. So normally there'd be raisins in and I'm not even sorry about it. Now the controversy is out of the way, let's get into how you're gonna make these things. So the first thing you're gonna do is preheat your oven to 220 degrees Celsius. And you're also gonna line two baking trays. Then you're gonna put your flour and your baking powder and your sugar into a bowl. Make sure it's a large bowl because you're putting quite a lot of stuff into it. And then you're going to add your already softened butter because you listened to Mary Berry. And you're going to rub that in with the tips of your fingers. So try and make sure it's the tips of your fingers, not your palm. It's the coolest part of your hand to rub it all in. Um, again, a Mary top tip. Then you're going to crack your eggs into a jug. And this is where the milk comes in. You're going to add enough milk to get to 300 milliliters. So it really is dependent on your egg. Then you're going to stir in your egg milk. Oh, that sounds disgusting. The eggs and milk, put it in that bowl with the flour and then you're gonna mix it together with a spoon. Uh, I use my little stir spoons because I think they're adorable. And you're just gonna do that until it starts to form together. You're gonna turn that onto a floured surface and then you're just gonna roll it out until it's about two centimeters thickness. I find this bit really satisfying. Um, it's quite relaxing. Any recipe where I've worked with dough has been quite relaxing and therapeutic for me. So if you've not seen my bread video, I will link it in the description, but that one was a really satisfying one to do. Then you're gonna cut your scone circles. <laughs> so I know that makes no sense, but hear me out. So I don't have a the right size cutter that Mary wants me to have, but I had to make do, so I used one of these glasses and it made them into mini scones. So you know what? These are now Mary Berry's mini scones and you're gonna have to work with it because as my friend said to me the other day, that's showbiz, baby. You just gotta roll with it. So if you want the normal size ones, then use a five centimeter fluted cutter. But if you're like me and you don't own these things, then just give it a go with a glass and you'll get whatever size scones you get, but they still turn out great. So you're just gonna pop those onto a lined baking sheet and obviously try and use as much mixture as you can. Uh, don't waste any, there's no point. One might be a bit wonky at the end, but that's okay. You can eat that one. That could be your like taster one to check they're all right. Then before you put them in, remember to egg wash them. I forgot and they were in the oven for about a minute before I literally sat on the sofa and yelled egg. Um, so <laughs> do remember to do that. Th that's why there's no clip of me doing that because I was in such a rush and a panic that I'd forgotten the egg wash. So don't do that. Then you're gonna bake them for 12 to 15 minutes and they're gonna come out all these nice golden brown color. Then you're just gonna let them cool, which is the hardest bit to do, I swear to God, because they smell so nice. Then you're gonna serve it with your cream and jam and you're gonna do it the right way round. 
but these little mini scones i know they don't look as risen as the other scones would be if they were a bit more if there's a bit more surface area but it really didn't affect the texture at all they were so nice and yeah i had it with strawberry jam because that's my favorite but you could have it with any kind of jam you wanted i'm sure but i think i think traditionally it's strawberry is it raspberry don't know either way it's delicious and they're so simple that's literally the whole recipe that is they are so simple to make i can make them and you should definitely try making them now if you've enjoyed this video do remember to like and subscribe it's very much appreciated and for the month of june i'm going to be trying a new cupcake recipe every sunday do stay tuned for that video i've got some great ideas coming up and enjoy your scones i'll see you in the next one